Oh my goodness. That's a scary view. <laughs> Say goodnight, Gracie. Oh shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and uh, in this episode, we're going to go out and do some looting. So uh, I did take uh, yesterday in-game day off and just did some mining and resource gathering. Uh, so let's see, where are we at with that? We have... Oh, and yeah, we've got a, a bunged up leg to it. I don't remember how that happened. I think I got hit by a zombie or something. Anyway, um, yeah, so I've got 25 iron ingots uh, and 33 plating. We got 18 copper ingots, 25 brass, and 60 lead from uh, all of the mining that I did. And then we also have 145 wood because I did some logging. One of the things that I tested um, is I made the carpenter's axe and I compared the carpenter's axe with the iron fire axe with the mod removed. And this has definitely been nerfed since the last time I played. Um, the carpenter's axe compared to, if you see, you know, if I hover my cursor, if I select this, for those of you who don't know this, uh, so these are the stats of what I've selected. And then if I hover the cursor over this one, the stuff that appears on the right is the comparison. So the only thing that is different is that the attack speed of the carpenter's axe is a little bit faster than the iron axe. But the stamina cost, <clears throat> uh, well, okay, so the stamina cost is more on the iron fire axe, but because the attack speed is faster on the carpenter's axe, I, I run out of stamina more quickly. And so basically what I did was I went and tested both axes on a 4,000 hit point um, pine tree, and I was able to cut it down much more, uh, uh, well, significantly more quickly with the iron fire axe that, than this. And the reason for that is because I didn't run out of stamina before I cut the entire tree down with this, whereas this one, I did run out of stamina with about still a third of the tree left just because it's got a faster attack speed and therefore it consumes more stamina over the same period of time. I don't know if that made sense to you guys, but the bottom line is that this is nerfed. It's no longer as good as it was the last time. I played Undead Legacy about a year or so ago, and that's kind of disappointing. Um, but now we know, and we are going to keep using the Iron Fire X for now. Okay, so we got that done. Now, in terms of our next uh, workstation, we need to get... Uh, son of a gun. We need to get the, um, uh, the workbench going next. And to get the workbench going, we need to get a wrench. So we need to either find a wrench, because uh, the rest of this stuff I can come up with uh, how much? How many research points do I currently have? I already have 200. Okay, so I already have research points enough to make, <coughs> excuse me, the schematic. Uh, but we need to come up with a wrench. Now we can, um, we can make, uh, we can make a schematic for a wrench. And I actually, I think I have all of this except for maybe the duct tape. Now, can we just make duct tape in our own inventory, like? vanilla or do we have to make that somewhere else oh uh, yeah we craft that in our backpack okay so let's grab um some glue here let's make say like tin duct tape and some cloth and we will craft those up we'll put the cloth back in there and then let's see what else do we need so five gears the uh here actually let's do this really nifty little pin feature there we go i love that um so the gears are the only other thing i'm not sure if i have enough of oh we do look at that okay we have five uh, we have seven uh, but we have the five that we need um and then the rest of it i think what will, will be fine so we need 20 of these we'll grab those and we need five of these We need the 200 research points, and we need 10 paper. So here's the thing. We could, we could find a wrench, but I haven't yet. You know, not that I've done a ton of POIs, but we've done enough, and I haven't yet. I don't remember when the trader resets. So before we spend these 200 research points, to research the wrench, let's at the very least run over to the trader. I'm going to sell this stuff too. By the way, this light doesn't work uh, on its own. <clears throat> uh, you have to actually wire it up, and so it's just not that valuable 
uh, to me right now. So one second and boom, our leg affliction is now finished. Uh, so let's just go see on the off chance that the trader might have one of those. I'll also show you my mine too uh, that I've started over here just so you can see it. Mining is a big part of this game, but it's kind of boring to show it, show it on camera. But as you can see, this is my mine down here. So it's a, it's a triple mine. We got a little bit of uh, nitrate on this side. We got iron in the center and we have lead over here. So it's a triple mine. Um, and uh, so I'm just going to keep digging down as we go. I'll probably cut more into this wall a little bit and leave this column here uh, all the way down just to kind of provide that extra support. So that's the mine that we currently have going. I cut off that way because there's another nitrate deposit over there. But since I've already run into it over here, we're not doing much more with that. Okay, so let's run over to the trader and just see if on the off chance he's got a wrench. If he doesn't, then we're just going to spend these 200 points to research the wrench and then go out and do some more POIs and continue looking for research points. That is the plan, Stan. I don't know if Raiden sells tools or if he's just a weapons dude. Let's look. Yeah, looks like he's just a weapons Good dude. Day. Good day. How's it going, eh? Um, yeah, 9,000. That is so expensive for a level F compound bow. It just seems exorbitantly expensive because the one level below it was only 2,000 and something, you know? Uh, it sure would be nice to have though, wouldn't it? How much is the scope? Okay, here I, I found in, in some trash a pipe shotgun and a pipe rifle. I don't have any points in rifles, so I, I don't, you know, I can't really do real good on that. But it'd be nice to get a scope on that rifle and start working on it. Here's a brown SMG for only 1728. And that uses the 10 mil rounds. Part of why, why I want to do all this, though. See, so, you now that's not super expensive. And that uses the 5.56s. Hmm. But this is probably considered an assault rifle or a machine gun. Uh, so it wouldn't apply points towards sniper. Snipering? Hmm. Okay, well, let's Goodbye. just let's keep that in mind. Uh, but anyway, we need the workbench so that we can make a chem bench, so that we can make gunpowder, so that we can then make um, a tier two research bench, so that we can then make a ballistics table. Oh, Lord. That's why we got to do all this stuff. So one thing after another, right? Uh, okay, let's take a look at your inventory. Any chance that you have a wrench? I'm not seeing one in normal stash, and I'm not seeing one. Oh, look at that, a raven. How much is that sucker? Yeah, right. It's going to be a while before. Oh, wow, look at that spike strap. That's cool. Um, Yeah, it's going to be a while before we can kind of afford that. Okay, so he doesn't have a wrench. Um, Look at that titanium axe schematic wow that thing is badass looking i can't wait to get that um what's this that's a truck engine okay nifty all right so yeah let's just sell um stuff to him so we should be able to shift click and w that to sell the whole stack and w w w shift click w w w and that is it. So that gets us up to 1912 on the coin. Was there something else? Um, I would. Uh, well, you know what? We're actually doing pretty good on food. I've got several bacon and eggs because I also went out and did some hunting and, and, you know, nest gathering and stuff like that, too. So I think I'm not going to buy anything from here for now. I'm, I, I'd like to get a health bar, though, just to reduce our criticals. Now, let me think hey. about this again. This would be really nice to have. And it's a G level too, so it's not even the crappiest, crappiest level. We could potentially purchase this after we do a couple more quests for the trader. You see, it does 46.3 damage. What is this lever action? This does 112, but it's also <laughs> over 11,000 coins. So yeah, that ain't going to happen. Green comp uh, compound crossbow is 12,000. So yeah, um, I don't know if... It's worth spending money on this. I mean, it might be, but I think I'd rather have this because this is more, you know, this is going to, we can snipe with this and also use it as, you know, a mid to long range weapon. Whereas this is kind of more of just a mid range weapon. 
mid to short, and we already have the shotgun for the short range anyways. So let's let's consider um, working towards that um, as Take we care. move along here. Okay, anyway, let's go. Uh, we have, wait, do we have a quest? Um, do we have a quest? No, we don't have a quest. Okay, let's, I thought I had one queued up, but I guess I don't. That's right, we, we didn't take another one from him because he didn't have... Why is that? Why is that quest marker down below there? That's odd. Okay, jobs. We would like to continue doing fetches. You have no fetches. Dude, what the heck, man? Um, Salvage. All right, let's I've let's ask for you if you think you can handle Let's try this and see if we can handle busy. it. I don't know if we can or not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let's go back to the base, research the wrench, and then we're going to go out and do this quest at Bart's Salvage. Um and yeah, so so research points, it's all about the research points. Uh, I also set up some transfer boxes um, for, you know, when I'm like really encumbered and coming back with resources. So we can basically pull from that one to this one. If you guys didn't know this, when you're over encumbered, you can still move up a ladder. You just can't move after you get off the ladder. Uh, so I have one on this side and then I also set up a series of containers on this side for the same thing, including, and, I'm, and I use this little trash can down here because I can also... Uh, reach it from the ladder too. I remember doing that in Undead Legacy the last time I played too where I kind of had like a little train of boxes. So basically from the ladder to here and then if I stand right here I can reach that and reach that to transfer and then if I stand here I can reach that, reach that to transfer and then if I stand here reach that, reach that. Okay so that's what that's all about. Let's go here and we are going to research the wrench. Uh, that'll take a minute, and then uh, after we've researched that, what is it going to take to make it? I think we have to make that here. Uh, oh, it doesn't tell us what it's going to take. Okay, so we have to know it first. That's kind of... I wish they wouldn't do that, you know, the games and the mod authors. I wish they'd let us know what we need so we can, you know, start getting the stuff prepared and queue it up for when we can make it. I mean, what's the point in making it a mystery as to what it's going to take... I guess, I guess the the practical, um, well, no, not practical. The logical explanation to that is, well, we haven't learned it yet, so we don't know what it's made of. So I get that. But from a gameplay and a practical point of view, it'd be nicer just to know anyways. Uh, but it is what it is, so not a big deal. All right, this is going to be done here in five seconds. We'll learn it, and then we'll see what it takes to make it. Uh, we're gonna we need two we need one for the workbench but we need we just plain need a wrench straight up too right uh, so let's learn that all right now if we go to here um to make a a wrench okay we don't have enough gears darn it because we only have two more gears so we're gonna have to be on the lookout for those the rest of the stuff's not a big deal okay so gears and schematics those are the things that we really want to uh, be looking for as we do this. Let's make sure our food and water is good. So I've got um, four bacon and eggs in here and one in our inventory. Let's eat one of these. And for beverage, doo -doo 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 -doo, I guess we're just drinking normal water right now because I don't have anything else. I don't think I can make like any of the teas yet. There is no Master Chef in Undead Legacy, so you have to find the schematics for that sort of thing. Let me look, though. Let me just double check. So I can make coffee. And I can make honey. I can make yucca. But yeah, see, goldenrod is locked. And red tea is locked. So, okay, we'll just have to come across the schematic for those when the time comes. We're good on food and water. Um, everything's in pretty good repair. The sledgehammer's getting low, but I have an extra repair kit for that. The sledgehammer requires steel plating to repair in here, and I don't have access to steel plating yet. So that's what the deal is there. And we're going to keep the pipe rifle in our inventory and its ammunition just for 
sniping and, you know, because I want to start working on getting some skills in that. And so we have the pipe rifle for our first shotgun shot, and then we switch to the pump. Uh, the pipe shotgun actually does 117.3 damage versus 108. Uh, well, you know what, though? I wonder if the plus 11 is because of the mod, uh, which means then that this does 119, right? 0.8. So that's okay. This gives just this this just gives us an extra shot, anyways. Um, so we'll keep it on the toolbar nonetheless. Let's go. Let's do this. So we're gonna run over here and do our quest. This is gonna be a, a tier two clear. So yeah, this will be fun. As long as we don't have those mutant guys, um, we should make it happen. I think I had one here. Actually, let's look at something real quick. I think I had one point. And I put it in directly into fortitude. Yes, I have the fortitude glasses, but I still want fortitude for the sake of fortitude. And if I take those glasses off, like, for example, on Horde Knight and put the intellect glasses on, I still want my healing factor to be in effect. So that's where I put that next point. Okay, let's go over here. Bart's Salvage. Okay, so we got to clear this place. Oh, look at that. Uh, we already have a duckbill mod, uh, the actual mod itself, and we need the research point. So we're going to scrap that sucker. Uh, I'll take that. I don't really care about the other stuff. Just not necessary. I'll take the that and that. Uh, okay, let's uh, we'll we'll do a little light preloading here. Grab a few more rubber scraps. What? Oh, there we go. Okay. And... Let's just also... We'll preload this. Don't care about that. And we'll hit these. Those seem to have a weird hitbox on them. We can't do anything with that. And I don't have a wrench to take that apart, so. Okay, that's enough preluding. Let's do let's do this legit now. Okay, we'll check this again. Ah, rats. I was hoping we'd get another schematic. Check this again. Uh, what's that? Scrap titanium. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. A little concrete action. Some more scrap rubber. Yeah, oh, here's a trash over here. The bone in it. I guess we'll grab that. Ooh. I'm lucky that that's not a a collapsing floor there. Take that stuff. Presto logs and a cabinet with some yucca. Nice. Uh, all right. There is a an area up there. Looks like we're gonna get up there from outside. Okay, let's get this let's get this party started here. You know, have I even done this POI before? I probably have, but I'm not real familiar with it. The thing about it that's not super good either is it's really wide open, so we don't have a lot of um, places we can barricade ourselves. Can they run around this way? No, they can't. Okay. Here, might as well check this. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. My son got me saying that, by the way. I, I don't know where he got it from, but he gets all kinds of weird stuff from the internet and his generation of pop culture and stuff like that so <laughs> i don't even know what that's from it's probably from a rap song or something like that maybe i don't know i have no idea anyway yeah dollar dollar bills okay i'm not gonna grab any more tire scrap we got lots of it it's easy to get and it's actually kind of heavy so let's just leave that alone uh, i want to keep this handy in case we get rushed which i'm sure something's gonna happen here pretty soon uh you know junkyard and dogs kind of tend to go hand in hand so yeah we got that 
to worry about too. Uh, we will, yeah, what the hell, we'll take all that stuff. Okay, I've got uh, one, two, I got four dots. I wonder if what we should do with that, really like to try and get a sneaky sneak off. But I can't see any of them. Oh, there's one. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, can we get any more sneaky sneaks? There's a red dot off that way. Uh, we already looked back behind that card. I didn't see anything. Let's look again. Maybe I just missed it. Oh, yeah, it's a dog. Right, okay. It's a dog right there. Um, okay, Let before we... So the problem with that dog is I can't hit its head. Unless, can we see it from here? No, he's very well hidden. They did a good job of hiding that guy. Okay, so let's see if we can sneaky sneak one of these other two first before we alert the dog. Uh, not seeing where that zombadoodle is. Maybe it's up on top of the backhoe. And we got another one probably right on the other side of that deal. Okay, here's what we're going to do then. Let's pull the dog. And then if we don't kill it, which I'm sure we won't because we're not going to be able to get a headshot, we're going to run back in through here, close the door, and then do our little blockade trick. Except for with the dog, that's going to not work so well, but we'll do the best we can. We'll do the best we can, man. Nice and quiet. All right, here we go. Hey, can I get them actually to come around here? No, doesn't look like it. All right, let's get our hammer. And let's get some shotgun points here. No, don't be getting up here. Got him. Okay. So that takes care of all the Zeeks in the yard. Well, at least according to the red dots. Uh, let's put this here. We'll put this back down here. Um, I'm going to put that there, I guess. I don't know how I managed playing this game with vanilla with only, like, what is it, 8 slots or 10 slots? The mod, This mod gives us 12, and I still don't have enough room for all my stuff. All right, let's look around out here. Oh, we got a... Eh, look at that. We got an underground bunker. Okay. I'm not seeing any, like, noteworthy loot. We got just the basic stuff. Is there any... Is there a way to get up? Yeah, get up here. Yeah, there's nothing that I can see up here, though. Uh, this POI is really cool. I like the way they put it together. All right, that's just trash. Okay, so are we supposed to go up the stairs or down the thing? Not really sure. Let's harvest this guy. 
All right, well, let's go up here. All right, okay, so this just goes up to this walkway. I don't see any red dots. No red dots up here, huh? Okay. Fair enough. Let's loot these two cabinets. And nothing else up here. Let's go out here. That's it. Let's go up on the roof. Is there anything on top of this tower? A backpack. Oh, boy, that's pretty nice. Um, It's a better quality than what we have, but yeah, it doesn't do nowhere near the damage. Okay, well, we'll just, we'll probably just sell that then. Either that or maybe use it as a backup bow or something. Oh, look at that. There's a book pile up there. That could have a schematic in it. Can we jump over to there? Mm, <laughs> probably not. We're going to break our leg if we try that. We'll, we'll hop back up on the backhoe to get, get to that. Okay, yeah, let's go back down. See, so yeah, I was able to get up over here. How did I do that? Got up here somehow. Oh, over here, yeah, okay. Then up here. And then long jump. Oh, for Pete's sake. You know what? We're doing this the hard way. Let's just do it the easy way. If this was Ravenhurst, we wouldn't be able to do this because Ravenhurst does not let you nerd pull. That mod is so damn hard. <laughs> it really is. Oh, look at that. Okay, we don't need this, guys, because we already have an iron axe. So therefore, research points. Yay us. Okay. Yay us. All right, let's go down here. Seriously, is this going to be a drop? Oh, crap. Drop down and then can't get back out scenario. Oh, man. <sighs> Me no likey. Me no likey. How do we deal with this? Can I get rid of this? Oh, I'm hit. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm hitting the ladder, not the ladder. Not the ladder. This. Wait, am I hitting the ladder? Wait a second. What is the ladder's hit points? Yeah, that's 500 hit points. I'm trying to hit this other thing here, but it's not. Oh boy, this is not going to go well for us, you guys. Let's make sure. <laughs> Let's make sure the shotguns are loaded. Uh, you know what? Too. What the hell? Let's just do this. We're gonna probably need it. Do I have any fort bites? No. Oh yeah, great. Now we got double vision. Here, okay, here we go. Oh, they're not sending anybody after us. I thought for sure we'd get rushed. Great. <laughs> now we have double vision for 53 seconds. Oh, for Pete's sake. Ah, it's all right. It was better to be safe than sorry, right? Okay, so since we've removed that from our toolbar now, let's, um, why don't we put this back down here so we can get the emergency stamina boost if we need to. Okay, that door's locked. I mean, I'd kind of like to take advantage of our buff, but I, I can't see a doggone thing is a problem. All right, let's get... Uh, Rid of that and rid of that. I don't know if that thing will break away down below or not, so let's not trust it. Three seconds. There. Now we can. Oh, man. That <laughs> messes with my eyes in real life. Holy crap. Okay. So I guess we're not getting back out. Well, we could get back out that way if I remove that, but before I start banging on stuff. Let's uh let's proceed. Yeah, you know what? I I don't think I actually have ever been in this P POI. Oh, I got my alarm going off. All right, I've got to go do something in real life. I'm going to pause the game. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I am back and ready to proceed here. So, let's see here. We 
We have a light right here. Let's pick it up. And uh, what were we going to do? Okay, yeah, let's let's loot in here first, I guess. Sorry, I'm... Uh, I'm uh, I got to get my head back in the game. Quite literally here. I had to take a, a call in real life for a bit there. Um, this is 10,000 hit points. Okay, so that isn't going to fall underneath us. No charges there. We got a refrigerator. And I guess that's it for the kitchen. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's in here. A little brass. So that's another... Oh, wow. we got like three different directions to go here. All right. Let's go. This goes down, right? Yeah. That door's locked. I'm... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. Why do I get the feeling like all three of these doors are going to fly open and we're going to get rushed by a bunch of Zeeks? Is there any way I can... Get rid of this. Um, let's get rid of that, just so it's not in the way. Okay, <clears throat> so what we can do is let's put a, a frame here. And if we have to quickly get out of here, we can jump on the frame. And, and uh, quickly was the key word there, OG. And then get back up on the ladder to get out. Okay. So that's how we're going to escape if we if we get ambushed. I'm just going to leave that frame there. All right. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're going down. We are going down. Hopefully not actually going down, like, you know, going down, but going down. Literally, not figuratively. Oh. Okay, we just woke up a crawler. Hmm. Okay, well, we should be able to escape back up this ladder again, right? Let's get that out of the way. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, so we have to climb up ladders to get into the other rooms. I see. Okay, is this crawler down here? Yep, he sure is. Okay. Let's dispatch him. Yeah, we've got triggers on the floor. Let's get rid of those. I know this uh, POI, I, I, well, I don't know. I think it was added on Alpha 20, but I never actually got around to, to doing it. Can I do anything with this? No. All right, well, let's, uh, I guess the light wants us to go this way first. So this way is the way we shall go. Oh, good. There's some gears. So we need, I think we need two more gears uh, to make the wrench. Oh, my goodness. That's a scary view. <laughs> Second night, Gracie. Oh, shit. Oh, he's right there. Okay, close that. Whew, okay. Okay, let's reload this. Your shotgun skill has improved to level one. Hot damn. I really, <laughs> I really like these bite weapons, man. They're just awesome. I, I, I don't like how slow they are. I, I just, the animations and the look of them are just super cool. That's what I like about them. Okay, I don't see any more red dots. The noise we're hearing is probably an outside Zeke. So let's go back up here. Okay, so this is a storeroom. And is there a like a button to open the door? I don't see one. All right, well, let's get the loots. 
Well, there's another book. I would like uh, some more gears, please. Gears are good. Nothing in there. Whoops. We got some mechanical parts. A bone. Nothing there. Some mechanical parts. And let's open this guy up. Um, let's take both of these right now. Okay, so I guess we have to go back out the way we came. Just looking to see if there's anything else up there. Doesn't look like it. All right. But if the light... Why did the light want us to go here first? Or maybe it did. No, no, no. Here, let's pick this up too. I guess it doesn't matter which one we do first or second or third or whatever. Okay, let's get ready. <laughs> Up the ladder. Close the hatch. Okay. Let's do this again. Oh, shit. Anyone else coming up? Sounds like we woke up the Zeke's in here. Oh, that says unlocked. Oh, okay. Is it supposed to be unlocked? Well, here, let's go back and finish this one out. This is a bat. Okay, this is the. Whoops. This is the bathroom. Get some meds. Search the sink. Oh, more gears. Awesome. Okay, so that gives us... I think we just need one more if I if my count's right. Very nice. Uh, where are my jars? Grab the jars. Charges. Um... Here, shower. The bathtub faucets don't seem to have charges, but the showers do. And we already looked in there. Any secrets up here? Probably not. Okay, let's reload this. And back down. Then we have one more side room first. But we're really heavy. What's... What is... Oh, uh, man. that? Okay, you know what we're going to do with that? Let's, uh, let's just stash it somewhere. And I might... Might be in the operative word, grab it later. If not, it's not that big a deal. We're still heavy. Okay, frying pan. We're going to scrap. And... So that leaves us at 110. Don't really want to get rid of any of the rest of this stuff. Here, we can get rid of that. That gets us down to 103. Okay. Now we can, now we can move reasonably well. Okay, so there's two Zeeks in there, but I want to I want to do this room first. Cuz I don't know, it just feels like we should complete this room first. Okay, now it's going to stare us up in the face. Uh, is that? I don't know what that is. That might be a sleeper laying down, but I can't tell. No, that's, that's a couch. Oh, look! There's two up there. Okay, uh, why don't we try a sneaky sneak? Okay, this strategy seems to be working reasonably well, so let's just keep doing it. 
wait, there's no one coming. Here we go. Okay. Anybody else coming down? Those two are at that door. Hmm. All right, here. Let's do this. Get this down here. Oh, now he comes down. Okay. Anybody still over here? Hold still. <laughs> Leave that head holding still, please. Okay, so we have two more Zikaroos in there. They're still banging on that door. That door's going to hold up for a while yet. So let's go down here. Go up here. And we got a weapons bag. All right, we're just going to scrap that. Some ammo. The fat loots. Okay, we'll take that for sure. Um, we'll take those. Is this better than what we have? No, it is not. Well, hold on. That's 19.8. This is 18.5. Oh, it does sell for a decent amount of money, so we're going to hang on to it, even though it's making us kind of heavy. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to come back to this POI off camera and just loot the basic stuff uh, because, for one thing, we're almost out of time here. Or we probably are out of time. I can't do this, right? Because, yeah. So, unfortunately, no lock picking's happening for a while yet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that. I'll come back, like I said, off camera and get these resources. Okay, so this is the final room here. Let's get um, our... What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. Get that down there. Make sure we're all loaded up here. Okay. Come on, friends. Whoops. I gotta remember to switch over. Alright, where's this other Zeke at? Uh, all right. They're obviously not right here. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Return to Trader. We have cleared the place. Awesome. Yeah, this is a fun POI. This is a fun POI. Okay, no more looting. Um. Well, okay, let's loot this. See, that was worth looting. Uh, and we might as well check and see what's inside of Poppin' Pills, too. But the boxes and all that stuff, like I said, I'll do later. Bar brawling, um, maybe later. Let's do the research points for now. Okay, I'll get all this stuff later. I know, how many times have I told you guys now I'll get all this stuff later? Oh. Is this... Oh, yeah, this is where we started from. Okay. Gotcha. Nifty. Okay, let's go do our turning. All right, man, what you got? I sure doubted it, but you pulled it off. All right, um, Badger 44 is going to do 53, which is a lot more than the mongrel. I have enough honey um, to make several jars of honey, so we don't really need these. So, yeah, let's take the Badger 44. 
Cool. Okay. Get 4,500 XP and 1,425 Dukes. All right. Next job. You don't have any more fetches. Cleared bungalow house. Assignment for you. Interested? We'll try this one. Good luck. And see how we do. We've already looked in here for today, right? All right, you guys, I got to let you go. Um, so uh, I'm going to spend the rest of today going back to that POI and getting all, oh, getting all of the just Welcome. basic resources. And if I find enough gears to make a wrench, I will do that. And then um, in the next episode, we will go do this next quest. Uh, let's just look at this one last time. So this is 2635, and I have enough to buy it. Let's do it. Boom. We got ourselves an assault rifle. An assault rifle you see. I'm just going to have to figure out where we're going to put it. And we also had a, have a pistol upgrade, too, because we, we just got the Magnum uh, Badger right here. So, very cool. All right. So, yeah, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Uh, next episode. Woohoo! Bye.